we've had a lot of furor over the football shirts. Could you please tell us what exactly happened and why we're short of football shirts, please? You have, we have a... The Nike shirt. Well, um, again, this is about the first time uh, our preparation for the World Cup is taking a different dimension. We decided to change our jersey and we introduced it to the world. And because of the support the team is enjoying from Nigerians all over, the rush for the jersey even spring a surprise because even uh, the, the producers of the, the jersey did not anticipate that rush. As I'm talking to you now, I am even under pressure on the demand for the jersey. I don't think you quite answered my question, sir. We, we were told that the jerseys were coming out in February. Sorry, we were told about the jerseys in February. How come it's taken till now, June, to release the jerseys? Um, well, that has to do with uh, the manufacturer and the producer itself. It has nothing to do with us as either a federation or as a country. And in any case, you know, the preparation for the World Cup and the strategy for the preparation is, is, is ours. We have to decide what to do at any time, taking into consideration our conveniences, our, the contingent plans we have on the ground, and what we intend to achieve with. So I, that you, you, just, you just kind of contradicted yourself, sir, because you said the strategy is yours. So I'm asking you again, why didn't you make the shirts available? All other countries' shirts were available a long time ago, and there's no shortage of their shirts. Why are Nigeria short of shirts, please? No, I, I don't think the shortage, as a claim, is not that of for Nigerians. You know, this is something for sale. It is something produced for sale. And the producer met his production based on demand. You know, this is the economy of scales. So. We were told, right, I got an email saying that three million shirts were ordered. So are you telling me three million shirts have been sold? Well, I, I cannot affirm that. You, the, the email you got, I don't know from which source. It's from the NFF of press officer, Mr. Demola Olajiri. Well, if that is the issue, then this question will go to him because he's in the proper position. Not really. He's just a press officer. You are the sports minister, please, and I'm asking you, sir. Well, but as a press officer, is he competent to have sent you that email to let me put it back to you? He's not. So if the information lies with me to explain, he couldn't have sent you an email of an information which is not competent to handle. Okay. How far do you think Nigeria will go in this World Cup? Well, Nigeria is going to go as far as challenging the trophy itself because we are confident in lifting the trophy. Can you promise us that we won't have any of the usual soap opera and bonuses will be paid? That we will, at some stage, a, flick, a switch will not be flicked? No, but we've managed that very well. If you look at the level of preparation to date, we have taken care of all these issues and there are no pending issues. The team even confirmed this when they met with the president. So I think it is not likely going to be an issue. I think the issue that we'll have now is for the team to deliver on their com commitment. Do you think there will ever be a time when the Nigerian football will not have to rely on the sports ministry, with all due respect? Other countries don't rely on the government. They just operate as a unit and the private sector. Will we ever have a time where yeah. you won't be relying on the federal government and the sports ministry? You know, it has to do with the level of the development. We are gradually getting to it. Before, in Nigeria, government... Uh, take responsibility of funding sports, absolutely. But as it is now, we have at least up to 20% of private sector involvement. So we are gradually getting into it. Once the space is wider and there are more transparent way of dealing with issues and then crisis is minimized within the administration of uh, sports, definitely investors will be attracted. Thank you very much for your time, sir. You're welcome.